Are you also experiencing the issue phone number shared by a URL is invalid in WhatsApp web? Rocketsun.io Chrome extension is here to help you. In this video, we're going to show you the step-by-step -step guide in doing the workaround whenever you're encountering this issue in WhatsApp web. This particular issue is actually happening because WhatsApp is not allowing you to send a message to someone that is not on your contact list. As a workaround, we'll be using Google Contacts, Google's free contact management service to upload your contact list that will then be synced to your mobile phone and furthermore will be synced to your WhatsApp. Step number one. We'll be creating a CSV file of your contact list that will then be uploaded later in Google Contacts. In this particular example, I am using Google Sheets, but you can also use your Microsoft Excel, whichever works for you. To start off, I'll be going to sheets.google.com and I'll be creating a new spreadsheet file. Let's rename this file as a rocket send test in the meantime and we'll be creating two columns containing the names and phone numbers of your contact list we'll be naming it name and phone now it's important to note that uh, this is case sensitive so it has to be the exact casing and the exact lettering here. Once you have these headers, you can now create and put your names and contact numbers that you're intending to send the WhatsApp message to. So let's just zoom it right here. There you go. So I'll be doing a test name, rocket send test one. And I'll be putting the number here. Now, it is important to include the area code with the special character plus one. Now, if you will be typing the number, you'll be experiencing that if you don't create the apostrophe here, it will then be formatted as like this. So to prevent that automatic formatting of Google Sheets, you have to put a single apostrophe and then followed by the area code. So there you have it. You have the first contact here and you just need to add more if you need to. Now for the sake of example, I actually created 50 records here to show you that you can actually upload all your contacts in one go. So you won't have to repeat this step again. Again, it is important that the headers are name and phone with this particular casing. And the numbers are with the area code with single apostrophe in the front. So you won't be having to deal with the automatic formatting of Google Sheets. After all has been set, you can click File, Download, and click the comma-separated values to download your file in CSV format. There you go. Step number two. Now that we have the contact list in CSV format, we will now be uploading the file to Google Contacts. Just head to contacts.google.com and you will be seeing this screen. Now we have to click the import button here on the left hand side of the screen. There you go. And select the file that we saved earlier. Now we have to also create a label for this particular list for us to manage this properly later. So for this example, I'll be creating a rocket send test for the sake of example. So the importance of having this particular label is that you'll be able to delete all these contacts if you don't need them anymore by just deleting this label 
and all the items that are inside this label will be deleted too. So after all has been set, click the import button here. Just wait for the uploading to finish. And there you go. We have here the 50 contact records that we created earlier. Step number three. Now that we uploaded the contacts in Google Contacts, we will now be making sure that it's properly synced in our phone. In Android, to do this, you can just go to Settings, search for Accounts. There you go. Click Manage Accounts. And search for the Google account that you uploaded the contacts to earlier. In my case, I have uploaded the contacts earlier with this account. Tap Sync Account to make sure that the contacts are being synced. And make sure that the time here is updated. Now, if in any case that it is outdated, you can just turn off and turn on here the syncing button. And it will automatically get the latest update from your Google account for this particular context. After checking the Google Sync, we will now be checking the WhatsApp permissions to your contacts to make sure that it's properly synced to WhatsApp. To do this, you can go to Settings, search, search for WhatsApp, tap WhatsApp application, tap Permissions, and make sure that the contacts is in Allowed section of the App Permissions for WhatsApp. If in any case, it's in don't allow mode, you can just change it here and tap allow. In iOS, you can actually do the same thing by going to settings, search for the contacts application, tap on the accounts, and check the Google account that you have uploaded the contacts earlier. In my case, this is my Google account. And make sure that it is turned on in terms of syncing your contacts. Furthermore, to check your WhatsApp permission in your contacts, you can just go again to settings, search for WhatsApp. And check if the contacts is enabled here. Step number four. Now that we made sure that the contacts that we uploaded earlier is now being synced and furthermore was synced to WhatsApp, we can now actually go to web.whatsapp.com and send the message through rocketson.io Chrome extension as usual. You can further verify if the contacts are being sent to your WhatsApp by clicking the new message here and search for anyone that you have uploaded earlier. There you have it. So as you noticed, we actually uploaded this particular phone number earlier and it was successfully synced. Now you might be asking, why is there just two contacts here if we uploaded 50 contacts earlier? Well, WhatsApp just recognizes the phone numbers that are registered in WhatsApp. And in our case, since we uploaded a lot of dummy accounts, and these are just the two numbers with registered WhatsApp account. Now that we have verified the phone number was now synced to WhatsApp, we will now be using the rocketson.io Chrome extension. So just click the sender button here and the rocketson pane will be showing on the right hand side of the screen. And just use the extension as usual. For this particular example, I'll be using the number that I have saved and uploaded earlier. 
and for the message i'll be just be test rocket send and after all has been set you can click send whatsapp so just wait for the message to be successful and there you have it we now as an optional step if ever you wanted to delete all your uploaded contacts because you won't be retaining them permanently you can just go back to contacts.google.com and click the label here here and this is the label that we created earlier click this trash icon and you can delete this label and you have the option to keep all contacts and just delete the label or delete all contacts including this label for this example we'll be deleting all the numbers and you can click delete after doing this the deleted contacts will then be synced to your google accounts and then will be synced to your whatsapp ultimately so you won't be retaining them anymore Again, you just do this if you want to delete all your temporarily saved contacts and if you don't want them to be saved permanently. So that's it. That's how you send WhatsApp messages if ever you encounter the phone number shared by URL Invalid in WhatsApp Web.